The Union Aerospace Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. Incoming transport detected. Mars approach, Dark Star with U07063 passing through 38000. Roger, Dark Star. Descend to 2000, set speed, contact ground on 26972. Roger that tower. We have them on radar, sir. They'll be landing in a few moments. Excellent. See that Counselor Swan is sent directly to me. Yes, sir. Tower, Dark Star on final. We've got you, Dark Star. You are set for lockdown. Welcome back. I can't believe it's come to this. I didn't want to come here. He left you no choice. True. But this is the last time. I'm tired of running damage control every time he makes a mess. Right. You're the control. And if that fails, I'm the damage. If that's what it takes, the Truger is going to start doing things our way. Whatever you say, Counselor. Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. If you're looking for someone to help you, just head to reception. Welcome to Mars City, Union Aerospace's premier research get facility. Out of here. To expedite your processing, I'm please proceed off this directly rock. to reception. And you should too. Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bioscan. This'll only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. Alright, bioscan looks good. You're cleared for entry. On behalf of the UAC, welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research, Attention. archaeological Director Banks, and military Please report companies. to Central Administration. Goal number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being of all employees and guests. To help achieve this goal, we ask you to follow all UAC corporate procedures at all times. This includes restricting your movement to areas for which you have... Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up your quarters. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, 
It'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the signs. If you are a guest, you may bring up any issue with your appointed UAC liaison. Thank you, and have a nice day. Mars City is a smoke-free facility. Please smoke only in designated areas. Thank you for your cooperation. I'm here because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No but I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money, some product. Don't worry, they'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruger, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. Let's go. Haven't seen you before. You must be with that new detachment coming to check on us. I don't think I've seen you before. You must be a replacement for one of the guys we lost. Yeah, so those suits arrived too. Weird. The UAC must be worried about something. I hear there's been more accidents in Delta. <laughs> accidents? That's good. Is that what they're calling it now? So, tell me, just what the hell is happening over there? Beats me, man. Attention, Dr. Braddock, please report to Environment Management Office or Alpha. I wouldn't ask him if I was you, man. I heard Travis start. IPN News Network, your universe now. The ah, Union someone new. Corporations Always nice seeing new faces around Miller, here. Miller, you hear about Hope Corporal Alstay? Yeah, they said he just lost it. Shipped home this week. Lose one, gain another. No shit. I wonder who they're gonna move to Bravo Team now. Who knows? Just hope they don't take it. Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 3. Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 3. <laughs> See the Sarge.
This is Delta Science Management. We would like to request another security team here in Delta. Yes, sir. Thank you. Took your sweet time, Marine? Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I've programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. We'll pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. Attention UAC personnel. Interested in earning more credits? Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your service branch director for more Did details. You know said? No, what? The UAC cares about the quality of life of its employees. Please, take advantage of our quality medical care services. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernache, dated November 10th, 2145. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. I checked the work logs and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in that Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off. The mumbling, the weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. End of log.
Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. Most unexciting place on Mars. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Okay, grab your gear. Now you're ready for combat. Let me do a radio test. Mars Sec radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage through the underground junction, then straight out. You'll have a quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay, you're all set. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working down here. Don't get excited to shoot any. anyone new down this way in quite some time. Welcome to the dungeon, brother. Enjoy your stay. Hey! You're looking for the scientist, right? I'm not sure you want to find him. You see... Uh, never mind. Don't listen to me. Never mind what I said. done this a million times. It's not that hard. Why don't you crawl your fat ass down here and do it yourself? Because I'm getting paid to make sure you do it. Just finish the coupling suite. This is Grant Baston, your environmental services supervisor. The date is... October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some, uh, unexplainable things. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky, so we always have the occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. The power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people in track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation, and we'll continue to log reports as I get them. You maintenance guys not keep any of these machines? Running? Yes, sir. It's just that the science team made a lot out of these things. Enough excuses. Just do your job. Jeez! <sighs> do you make a habit of sneaking up on people? Everyone's already on edge down here with all the strange things that have been going on. Center, right? You better hustle up, pal. This passage doesn't go all the way there. You'll have a quick walk outside to the center's airlock. Hey, don't sweat it. Your suit's got plenty of oxygen. Well, with 
hell are you waiting for, Marine? This is Sergeant Kelly. You need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. Huh? No, no, please. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. Systems I can't let... I, you don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. I know. I built his cage. I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is bad. God! I can't hold these levels. We're losing it! Oh Help us! All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. I say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. Squad leaders, give sit rep. Over. Command HQ, this is Bravo Team. We've got one Marine down, two wounded. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 4. We are pinned down in Alpha Lab. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. Main power systems down in sub level. Backup and life support systems only. We've got lots of civilian casualties. It's a mess. <laughs> Command HQ, attempting to secure the area.
This is Command HQ. Report directly to Marine Headquarters and await further orders. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 24th, 2145. Reclamation problems continue to plague the main processor. Two more valve overloads on that unit in just the past week. These overloads can destroy the valves, causing a very dangerous fire, getting up enough heat to incinerate sensitive equipment nearby. Today we've had only one reported injury as a result of these valve failures. And this is due in large part to the quick response of the engineering team. Our procedure of entering the failure code 842 and the operation terminal has proved adequate and I recommend no changes in that procedure.
All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We don't know what we're up against. Repeat, we have negative ID on the assailing force. They're mean as opens. We don't have a clear path back to HQ. Stock up on ammo, establish a stronghold, and keep them at bay. Fire Team 2, fall back to the nearest station and set up a CP there. Out. This is Sergeant Kelly. Fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. All remaining Marine units, this is Sergeant Kelly. I'm unable to reach Mars City from my current position. Move to Marine HQ to regroup and await further orders. Hey you! Up here! Quickly! I thought I was the only one still alive. I can't believe I found you. Something happened. I don't know what. It, it, it was like a shockwave. It, it passed through the entire base. People started changing. It was crazy. Be careful. I don't know what's in there.
This is Mark Stanton, Manifest Controller currently stationed at Mars City. I'm not sure who to send this to, so I decided to send it to quite a few people. If you're on the recipient list, please take a moment to review this report. It is quite important. I'm very concerned over the shipping procedures out here. I am the Manifest Controller, and as such, I need to be informed of everything coming in and out of Mars City. Someone here is subverting my position and preventing me from getting data on things being shipped. This is unacceptable. Not only could this reflect poorly on my upcoming review, but this is my job and I'm tired of being out of the loop. I have no idea who keeps telling the shipping crews to allow things in and out without allowing me to produce or procure the manifest. But whoever it is, it must stop. One of the dock workers actually told me to piss off when I tried to stop one of the last containers from going straight to Delta. I immediately filed a report and will follow up with the transit manager next time I see him. End of log. Specialist Wilson, my team is gone. They're all dead. I'm running blind here. What are my orders? Over. Specialist Wilson, this is Sergeant Kelly. Stay sharp, son. Move to your last known RP and fortify your position. We'll find you.
This is Mark Stanton, Manifest Controller, currently stationed at Mars City. Audio log for Dr. Cassian, currently stationed at Mars City. I have just left the weekly status meeting here in medical. The most prominent topic was the vast number of psychological issues we are seeing as of late. The number of reports indicates that 10% of the overall base personnel have shown symptoms. As many people will not come in for this type of thing, the number of affected personnel could truly be in the 30 to 40% range. It has even manifested itself here in medical. We uh, have several nurses and a couple of good doctors out for related reasons. I'm going to formally request two additional psychiatrists on the next shuttle from Earth. The two we have are being overworked, and the content of their sessions with patients is starting to affect them as well. Dr. Casey and out. Dr. Mark Casian, at fi- Audio log for Dr. Casian, currently stationed at Mars City. I've just left the weekly status meeting here in the The most prominent topic was the vast number of psychological issues we are seeing as of late. The number of reports indicates that 10% of the overall base personnel have shown symptoms. As many people want to come in for this type of thing, the number of affected personnel could truly be in the 30 to 40% range. It has even manifested itself here in medical. We uh, have several nurses and a couple of good doctors out for related reasons. I'm going to formally request two additional psychiatrists on the next shuttle from Earth. The two we have are being overworked, and the content of their sessions with patients is starting to affect them as well. Dr. Casey and out. Dr. Mark Casian, at 1547, patient Jonathan Wills was admitted after complaining of insomnia and nausea. According to the nurse, Mr. Wills was calm and exhibited no signs of disorder when he was brought to exam room 5. However, by the time I reached him at 10 after 4, his personality had changed dramatically. When I entered the room, Mr. Wills lunged at me with a scalpel he apparently stole from a supply drawer. With the assistance of an orderly, we managed to subdue and sedate him without injury. Mr. Wills was heavily medicated and could not be diagnosed, but in the 20 minutes he was left unattended, he managed to carve three symbols in his arm and cut his own tongue into two halves. I, I can only guess at the cause of his problems. I hope that additional psychiatrists arrive soon. In the meantime, in response to this assault, all medical supplies and armaments will be locked in a secure hospital cabinet with the code 347. Dr. Casey and out. You're still alive. I'm unable to return to Mars City. All passages out of the Delta Complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. It's your mission to link up with Bravo Team and get that transmission sent. Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job. And good luck, Marine.
Marine. If you run across any operational sentry bots, use them. Those guys pack a lot of firepower. The UAC is here to help you. Psychological services are free and confidential. Got to get to Bravo team quickly. They need all the firepower they can get. Sending that transmission is critical to our survival. I don't think you understand, Dr. Petruger. No, I understand everything. I'm telling you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? The situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. Do you understand? Yes, Petruger. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B.
Welcome to the Alpha Labs. Formerly designated Phase 1 by the Union Aerospace Offworld Research Division, the Alpha Labs began construction on October 29. Stop, buddy. There's nothing you can do for me. They're all gone. Access denied.
Marine. Bravo team reports there's some sort of unidentified growth taking over parts of the base. I don't know what it is, but it can't be. Stay sharp. somewhere else. All right, let's go. This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October 20th, 2145. It has come to my attention that we have an alarming number of missing personnel throughout the base. My office has received four additional reports from Delta in the last week alone, mentioning that personnel are not reporting for work and that calls to their quarters have gone unanswered. My office has sent the names of those personnel to Mars City Security, and they have promised to initiate an investigation. But this news is very disturbing, especially at a time when we have so many people in the infirmary suffering from sudden cases of schizophrenia and other psychological disorders. I hope there is no connection between those cases and these reports of missing person. This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October 5th, 2145. It has been brought to my attention by environmental services that the recent power grid changes have caused many non-critical systems to malfunction. The report explains that this is due to either intermittent power outages or lower than optimal voltage input. It also says that sufficient power distribution to all non-critical systems is becoming more difficult to maintain thanks to Dr. Vitruger and his so-called optimizations to the energy storage Access in and granted. around the facility. I assured the director of ES that I would find...
Marine, I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo Team yet. You need to pick up the pace. I can't wait for you. Reaching the communication facility quickly is imperative. UAC takes pride in its safety record. Please follow UAC procedures. For generations, humankind has lived under the looming specter of slowly dwindling natural resources. Our new ventures on planets like Mars have only intensified our need to find fresh sources for metals, petrochemicals, food, water, and food. UAC researchers have developed dramatic solutions. Solutions that will soon pay off for the UAC, its investors, and indeed the entire world. Audio log for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the EPD project. Uh, the, uh, the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational, and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the quark emitters in the chamber, and the witnesses say he appeared to see something. It's almost like uh, something was talking to him, he backed right into the particle beam. It was not a pretty sight, as it took on the back side of this. Warning. Only a few minutes, EPD although I'm not sure you consider that living. But they say his eyes rolled back and forth, and he was trying to talk. Although, I'm not that I'm sure this is right. Anyway, 
due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab, and we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. The code for the cabinet is 752. End of look. Audio log for Jack Smith, a benefits analyst in HR 1024-2145. I just went through another batch of accident reports from the science team. We've had five more people hurt this week while working with the equipment. The most serious incident was when Gas John Hughes, stopped. whose hand was Fire caught in one of the plastic extrusion systems. He was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had the safety key in his pocket. It managed to activate without an apparent power source and uh, shredded his arm up to the elbow before someone got him out. It's been reported that the uh, machine is still running and we can't shut it down. The cost on that incident alone is enough to raise the red flag, but this is just one in a pile. Uh, we're going to overrun our budget on benefits payout this quarter. And while it's not my department, I have to assume the equipment budget is going to be blown out as well because According to these reports, the equipment's breaking down on the basis. Please mark this for review at corporate and the bar.
Safer worlds.
Oh, he startled me. Man, am I ever glad to see you. I thought it was all alone. It's been freaking spooky lately. The Hydrocon's blown a few circuits and is unstable. Be careful of that gun. A stray bullet into the glass shields could blow the whole area. I'm gonna try and get this thing stabilized. I'll head to the science office when I have this under control. unveiled its development of the Hydrocon. Though still in its prototype stages, the Hydrocon
Hello, hello. Is this reaching anyone? I'm broadcasting on a very low frequency. If you can hear me, I'm not far. Please help me. I've locked myself in storage room four. Please, if anyone can hear me, please help me. Audio report regarding the disrespectful treatment of new research staff, September 14th, 2145. As you know, I have gone to considerable effort to recruit my staff researchers for Alpha Labs. Finding team members with the qualifications, let alone the willingness to come to Mars, has not been a trivial task. You know this already. But it is necessary that I emphasize why their complaints must be taken seriously. We won't be able to keep our people or recruit new researchers if the harassment continues. No, harassment is exactly the right thing. I'm routinely getting reports of UAC security asking inappropriate questions and submitting my staff to unnecessary background checks. I must insist that we be allowed to keep our personal lives private and be left to complete our assignments without further delay. If there is some kind of security, I suggest that UAC security will be into their own stuff. This is Andrew Chin. Yeah. and deliver that fuel to make the dream of deep space research a reality. The answer is being resounding yes. Under the direction of Dr. Malcolm Batruga, the UAC scientists have made startling new discoveries in the field of quantum physics. And with them, they have been able to use the actual chance. Now in the planetary and dynamic Bravo team reports they've located your position but are unable to move to your current location. Head through Audio engineering for and try crash. to link up with them in the sector MFS 3. The MFS compressor is producing fantastic results. The latest modification I made to the dilation matrix were the real key to the recent breakthrough. All in all, I feel my work on this project has been the catalyst that propelled everything forward. I've also taken a set amount of time each day to make sure that everyone is doing their job and Of course, I check all of their data to ensure that no mistakes are made. This is going to be a huge money maker for the company, and quite honestly, without my input and hard work, I'm not sure that we would have gotten this far. So I wanted also to thank you for your supervisory role in the project. Working with you is a true honor. Just remember me in the end of your reports, as I'm certain I deserve a promotion. That won't be out.
shoot. Uh, I can help you. The lights are all out. Uh, I'll lead you through here if you can get me off this base. Come on, I can't wait. Electromagnetic pulses have knocked out the electrical systems in this area. Watch out. A big one could knock out our Stop. We've got to keep moving. There's one. Come on, I can't wait.
This is Operations Coordinator Mark Lamia, dated November 1st, 2145. I am filing this report because I am frustrated beyond belief by the level of incompetency I have to deal with here. I don't know where HR is getting the new employees, but the last five guys they've sent me were all a bunch of idiots. They can't get any of their work done on time, I constantly have to keep an eye on them. They work slow. They don't follow any of the standard operating procedures, and they can't even remember basic things that I tell them. For example, I changed the cabinet door codes here to 1, 2, 3 because I thought that was easy enough to remember, but they still forgot it. I don't understand why HR can't get me better people. I'm requesting full authority to hire and fire my own employees. It's the only way I can run my department smoothly. End of log. Toxic gas levels decreased 50%.
Toxic gas is cleared. Waste disposal area now safe for entry. Marine, we gotta pick up the pace. We have more men down. Bravo team is barely holding their own. Thank <laughs> you. 